All right, so, hi. <laughs> How are you today, Admiral? <laughs> Fantastic. How did you get uh, the name Civitron? Right? How did you get the name Civitron? Civitron is a family name. Okay. Uh, passed down from generations. Um, and that's not far from the truth. Um, we all have code names. And um, were they I given or chosen? My, um, chosen, chosen. Uh, sometimes, sometimes they're given, but I think it's fairly, fairly, um, fairly rare that that happens. When people come into the into Skull, um, it's uh, part of the part of the, the 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 mission is to be the superhero versions of ourselves. So we get to choose and we get to define who we are and what kind of image we want to live up to. And, um, and the, so that comes with choosing your code name and, uh, and sometimes people ask friends, but, but, uh, we usually, we usually pick them out ourselves. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And Civitron, um, Civitron's fun. Uh, <laughs> Civitron's a fun name. Um, it's, uh, it, 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 I, I, I strive to be a superhero version of myself and, um, Civitron, if you break down it's a little, it's a little far fetched, but if you break down Civi and Tron, Civi being of the people, um, or um, or the citizenry, and Tron being tool or instrument, so I'm a giant tool. I was um, about to say, so you're a tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you know, and so like I just try to be a people helper, and so I think Civitron is 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 pretty fitting for that. Um, yeah. So uh, so welcome to uh, Star Chaser headquarters. This is. This is our fort. This is our temple. This is where we make the magic happen. This is where we coordinate our missions, build ships, and um, and uh, and 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 make repairs. Um, we, um, yeah, this is that's pretty much the gist of that. Um, the Star Chasers was founded in in Earth Year 2012 uh, as a division of Skull, which is a 25 year uh, organization uh, out of Boston, Massachusetts. It's an organized battalion of Funk a um, uh, sci-fi infused bicycle chopper gang um, with the uh, um, oh, the mission, sorry, the, uh, the mission to uh, turn uh, bicycles into chopper, uh, sorry, <laughs> we turn, we build spaceships out of bicycles. We turn bicycles into spaceships. Are they aluminum? <laughs> are they all aluminum? Or are they aluminum and steel frame or just steel? um because you can't it's you can't been, take well you can't take well carbon bikes no no it's a lot of steel it's a lot of old frames it's a lot of uh, old curvy frames um i've got my first build over here i don't know if you can see it the one hanging up um no this one down here that's uh that's artemis now how do you figure out the fit before you build it or is it like a crap shoot um the fit what do you mean? Like, I mean, how you sit on it, whether it's going to be comfortable or do you find that out at the very end? Oh, uh, sometimes you find it out at the very end. It depends on your building style. Some people are very technical um, and engineering mind. Some people build them like bonsais and kind of just like, you know, close your eyes and, and trim as you go. Um, so it depends on the, it depends on the pilot. It depends on the, the, the builder um, and how that's going to go. But usually we try to, we try to like, you know, set them up in a way that we, we can, we can make adjustments that we want to, we want to, we want to fly them, of course. Yeah. Is every build rideable or flyable? Like, or some of them turn out like, uh, this isn't actually practical. Some of them turn out, uh, really bad. Um, uh, not many of them are practical. Um, but, uh, but I think we've all gotten pretty good at, um, at building and like sharing the information. It's a lot of like, it's a lot of shared information, um, shared experience. Everybody brings something different to the table. It's really, um, uh, it, 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 it's, it's really great and, and like high, high camaraderie. Um, I call it an open source organization. Um, you, you, whatever new person comes, they bring and add, add their flavor to, uh, to the organization and, um, and, and hopefully teach teach something new hopefully they learn something new and that sort of thing has anybody started a fire with the welder by accident uh not at not at uh star chaser headquarters okay okay so after you make your your spaceships do you 
like on the weekends and stuff, do you get together and plan out missions or um, stuff like that with objectives? Or what's the what's the end game? Just to build spaceships, or do you do anything with them? Like, well, um, uh, about one night a week, we meet for a base night, and that's uh, that's uh, that's our build build and repair night. Uh, we also take some of that time to plan missions. And um, and typically our missions take place on Saturday nights um, from the start of April to, uh, well, uh, to our season ends at the end of October. So April Fools to Hal Wheels. And, um, and our missions are, 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 our missions range from going out and, you know, uh, derbying, just playing games, dancing in the streets, um, giving people stickers. Sometimes they're a little bit more complicated. Um, like, uh, like sometimes we, we have destinations, places we want to visit, um, things we want to do together. Um, and sometimes they're very complicated. And, uh, and, 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 and those are more like the community missions where they're open to the public. We have Operation Cranksgiving, um, where we, uh, you might've heard of Cranksgiving where we, uh, it's a food drive um, on a uh, bike. And um, we ride around picking up food uh, donations uh, for people in need in the holiday season. Um, and we invite uh, the whole community to come to do that. And uh, it's been really successful. We've ca- uh, gathered a few, several hundreds of pounds of food for, for different organizations in the city. Now you're all adults um, doing this? Yeah, typically. Um, we've had some kids come through. Um, my son was, uh, was the youngest scout pilot for a while. Um, I believe he started, well, I guess he started when he was about uh, eight. Now he's 18. And, um, and he's brought some friends, you know, uh, you know every now and then. Um, but mostly it's adults. Um, and now that he's 18, he's kind of made a, a pretty strict rule. And he's like, he's like, okay, no, no more kids. I don't want to deal with kids. And, uh, and I think most 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 of the pilots, most of the star chasers agree. Um, it's tough to wrangle wrangle the kids, and uh, we've had some very concerned parents. But surprisingly, like like also trusting. Um, you know, they see where we're flying, they see, you know, where we're going, what we're doing, but they also see that we follow we follow most of the like street cycling rules. Um, we're very careful. We have formations. We take care of each other. If you something breaks, we all stop. Our we, helmets, well, are helmets are not required. Um, oh, come on. I didn't, ride, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't. So this is interesting. I didn't wear helmets for uh, a while. And um, and I didn't have a reason. People people assumed it was my hair. They were like, you, you can't care so much about your hair. And I'm like, I, I don't. I just don't. I don't know. I don't like wearing helmets. However, I've been hit by several cars. Um, I've suffered 17 concussions in my life, um, you know, varying degrees. And uh, this year, I, or, or well, a couple of years ago, a local um, like cycling organization representative was like, you, you need to wear a helmet. You need to wear a helmet and, and, and be a good example for the kids. And I was like, okay, fair. Um, but, you know, over the last couple of years, I've been like, you know what, I really, I really need to take care of this thing. Um, I'm getting older and, 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 you know, those concussions aren't, <laughs> aren't, aren't uh, helping. Thanks. How, how old are you in earth years? Earth years, I am 41 years old. Okay. Yeah. How long do you plan on doing this for? Till the end? Till the end, uh, as long as I can. Um, this is our 10th season. Uh, we've been doing this for 10 years and, um, and I still love it. Um, I've been doing it for a little bit more than 10 years. I was riding with Skull in Boston and, uh, and started the Star Chasers. Um, and I really just love being part of that magic. Um, when you're out on a ride, out on a mission, um, you know, like different people have different, you know, I- interpreted different ways. People, different people like process Skull in different ways. Um, but I, I, I take it very seriously. I take my fun very seriously. It's very silly, very, you know, very, it can be goofy, but it can also be very freeing. And I take, you know, I, 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 I think our, our, I try to make our mission objectives really important. 
uh, whether they're important to ourselves or important to the community. Um, so, um, you know, when I'm out there, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a space admiral and I'm taking care of my little star babies and I'm bringing joy to the community just by being around, but being, you know, bringing joy to myself and my fellow pilot. Um, yeah, speaking, I love it. Speaking of the community, how do you, do you recruit new members? Do they find you? Uh, how, how does that process work? Well, um, traditionally it's a, uh, we go through a recruitment process where, um, uh, 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 uh a pilot, a person who's gone through the training um, of like maintaining the ship, um, flying in formation, obeying the kind of the rules that we set out, um, taking on different jobs. We um, we carry bags um, with us. With, for, we have a flat bag, tool bag, chalk bag, different different assignments to make the mission flow and um, you know take care of things. Um, and once somebody who who does that uh, and 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 kind of learns kind of gets in the flow of things, they become a pilot. We knight them. Um, we have a knighting process. We have a lightsaber that we knight them with, and uh, they take the oath. And then they're eligible to bring a friend, bring a, bring a, a new recruit, and, uh, and bring them through the, through the training process. And, and so it's a, it's a sponsorship kind of thing. Um, one host, one recruit. Um, over the last, uh, in 2020, I opened it up to the community. And, uh, and invited everybody, uh, the whole community. And, um, you know, because of the, the pandemic and, and, and people, people wanted to get outside, people wanted to uh, commune. And so we did it in a way that people could get together without actually getting, uh, that the bike was the, a really good um, social distancing machine. And, uh, and so, they kind of really took off from there. And a lot of people got really interested. So sometimes we'll see people out in the streets. Sometimes people will watch something like this. And if they're in New Bedford, they say, hey, I wanna, I wanna get on board with that. And they can contact us through our social media or email and, uh, and we'll, we'll work that out. We'll try to get them, get them in and get them a host. How do you get funding or like, uh, what's your means of purchasing vintage bicycles to turn into spaceships? Um, trash and donations. Um, we rely on uh, donations for the most part. Um, we, to get the, to get the, um, to get the frames, to get the parts, all that, it's all donations. Um, unfortunately, we live in a society that throws things away and um, throws a lot away. And so when we started, um, I would, I would encounter people who, there was just dump several bikes in my driveway and uh i'd have people contacting me say hey i got this i got these bikes in my basement my kid's not using them um and i say why because and they say because they got a flat and i said hey, well i'll fix it for you um so i fixed some bikes um and got them back to the kids but uh but yeah it's a lot of donations and then we pay dues um everybody who shows up for a mission um what are those costs uh, well we run at about five to ten dollars and then you obviously can like donate whatever you you'd like. Oh, so we run it kind of like a community community bike shop. Um, they're a little bit old prices, but we've got a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, the only thing we use that for is um, more supplies for our bags. So like more for the mission: chalk, stickers, uh, inner tubes, and then broken tools. Um, so yeah, show up. Work on your work on your work on your bike, your own personal bike. Work on a ship, dump some money in the in the pot, and uh, and use the tools. So, since most of this stuff has now become uh, most of these bikes become custom pieces of work, how do you, other than you know wheels, which are pretty, you probably don't change much about wheels because they're still wheels and do the structural integrity of a rim and everything in the spokes. Uh, other than that, how do you replace any parts? Um. We just uh, scrounge for more, more parts. Do you have a heap uh, of bicycles in the backyard or outside the space station? <laughs> well, well, that's that's funny. So we typically have um, lots of storage up top. Um, I think we have about 50, 50 frames up top. 
Um, back there, we've got um, these two uh, green filing cabinets. And those are those are full of, uh, of small parts. Uh, the bins underneath the workbench. Those are all forks, uh, saddles, cranks, um, and uh, handlebars. Um, we've uh, we've got a lot, but we don't. We surprisingly really we don't actually go through a lot of parts um, because we maintain them so frequently. Um, like I said, like we uh, we meet once a week um, for a base night. And then before each mission, we do something called MRC, maintenance, repair, and construction. Um, and every ship that goes out goes through a pre-flight checklist to make sure that everything's in working order. And um, so everything's everything's frequently lubricated and and checked for damages. Um, oftentimes, if something's cracked, we can we can weld it back together. Um, so. So we don't actually like go through a lot of, we, 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 we reuse a lot of things. And sometimes we push things beyond their limits. <laughs> do you integrate lights into your design for like in the dark? We do, we do. Um, a lot of our ships are equipped with lasers. Um, it's a LEDs that we, we string along uh, the frames and, or however, you know, that person wants to decorate their ship. Do you use those like spoke lights or wheel lights? Yeah. Yeah, we, we have a lot of those. Most of our ships have the wheel lights. Okay. So what are the long-term goals of your, uh, your fleet? Long-term goals? Um, I mean, just always to fly safe and fly true. Um, bust the funk wherever we go. Um, you know, just bring be you know embody joy um and, you know just showcase the spirit the 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 joyful spirit of of cycling kind of like it's a lot of like just reminding people what it is it's like be a kid you know those ladies movies kids on you know aliens and <laughs> in the forest like that's kind of what we're kind of what we're doing it's kind of our our story um long term my vision, I would like to eventually um, move out of the, um, the this space station and uh, and start a, 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 you know, kind of like um, open it up a little bit more and get it into like a community workshop space. Um, I would love that. That's my that's my dream. So I'm going to get you out here on this one last question. You keep saying funk a few times. Or like when you go on your missions, are you like blasting George Clinton in the Parliament Funkadelic, or is like what's your definition of funk in this? Of course, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, a lot of our uh, a lot of our uh, ships are equipped with large uh, large radio boxes, large sonic disruptors, um, and we 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 bust the funk. We it's a sometimes when I invite people on a mission. Um, they say, oh, I don't know. How far do you go? Uh, it's about 10 to 15 light years, sometimes 20, 25 light years or a mile. Um, I figured. Say, oh, I don't know if I could. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I can do all that. And I say, well, we fly at the speed of funk. And it's, it's not an athletic event. It's a, it's a dance party on wheels. And we're just, we're just cruising. And uh, we make frequent stops to, to dance, grab snacks um but yeah it's just a it's just a, a nice party out in the open air and uh you know just spread and joy like peanut butter across the brittle cracker crackers of the universe i had a follow-up how many d-cell batteries do you go through and how frequently in a month we don't we don't we have uh we have rechargeable um like battery packs that we that we bring along i'd like to eventually convert them all to uh uh the generator like wheels I don't know how uh, I don't know how efficient that would be. I'm sure some other skull pilot has tried that out, but um, but yeah, we use rechargeable packs. Okay, so it's not there. Are they? These aren't the old fashioned ghetto blasters that people used to carry on their shoulders, right? No, no. I mean, sometimes it is if if that's what you got and that's what you want to bring. Um, but um, but no, we build we build like our own radio boxes, and every everybody can find them on. Um, you can find pictures of our ships, of our, you know, uh, recaps of our missions. Oh, I'm putting the link uh, on here. <laughs> see our radio, 
on um on skull.org s-c-u-l.org um and our uh, our facebook page uh new Be at new bedford star chasers so yeah thanks thanks for for sharing that yeah well hey civitron uh it's been real <laughs> it's definitely been real <laughs> It's been great meeting you. Thank you so much for uh, yeah. For I'll up, look you guys up the time ever in me. Boston. I mean, I maybe yeah. I'll be up there for the marathon one year, hopefully. So I'll have to stop by since it'll be marathons on a Monday. Stop by on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Um, I know we do. Uh, I I don't know all the details on it, but we do uh, a marathon ride. I know there's a uh, there's an official, uh, well, semi official, I guess. Uh, marathon ride. I think we ride it backwards. We ride okay. backwards along the route because we're weird. Well, you know, it is one way. <laughs> so thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.